Ricardo. Hey, what's up, Jason? How are you doing? Good. Hey, Jason. How are you? Good. Okay, Jason. So this is the indoor finders admin. Mm-hmm. Okay. And well, she's doing that, Jason. I I think just um, to kind of set the stage. Um, so this sur global service account number um, should um, connect the system with your um, EWS, and then I think the next thing that we'll need your help on is the security protocol relative to the basic identification that you guys have um, set yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. So this account uh, is not in. I, I took it out of the conditional access for MFA and and whatnot. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping that it's just going to go through because I also have on the mail tab everything enabled for signing into it. Okay. So I'm hoping it's just going to go through for us because cool. okay. our rooms are uh, resource rooms. Like there's no login to those. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I've added the the calendars for the rooms in Chicago to this indoor finders account calendar yep. mm -hmm. um, by impersonating it. And, uh, and, and that's basically what I do with zoom, except then I log into the zoom website and I tell it, Hey, you're a zoom room. And it gives it an access code for the zoom room uh, devices we use. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm assu I didn't give it, I mean, zoom, I also give it explicit full access to the resource rooms. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't do that for the indoor finders account, but, uh, based on the instructions I got a few months ago, I, was, I assume that I don't need to. So that depends on, do you want the person to book the room in front of the panel or not? So you can book it. There's uh, three, three ways you can book a room. One would be um, on your desktop and you pull up, you know, Outlook, book, book a meeting, add the resource, um, yeah. add a location. So that'd be one. Um, the second would be through the mobile app um that all employees um we could make available to all employees you could book it on your mobile app um and then the third would be you know we're right in front of the room right now nobody's in it so on the tablet in front of the room let's just you know book a meeting right now from from the tablet that's what um that's what but uh, it should be able to book that if there's nothing there because it's just a regular user that can book a resource mm -hmm. It just won't be able to edit or delete, delete existing entries. 